So we need to create um, uh, an if statement um, based on whether this here should be gained. Um, if it shouldn't, if it's not, uh, then we don't need to do anything. Um, we also need to include this file put content in the IP um, in this check um, as well. So essentially what our program is doing is if the IP address is in here, we are not going to do anything. There's no need to increment the counter because it's unique, um, based on a unique IP. If the IP address is not found in here, we're going to increment the counter, then we're going to add the IP address to this file. So the next time the same user accesses it, the counter.txt will not be incremented, hence the fact it is unique. So we need to create an if statement and surround this with it um, with a block. So, well, surround this with parentheses, and this is our block. Now we're going to add some more to this block in a moment, but I'm just going to go through the if statement itself. So um, the condition is if not, so we use an exclamation mark for not, in underscore array. Now what this function is going to do, it's going to check whether a specific value exists in an array. Um, and this value needs to be um, obviously an array. Now our text file at the moment is not an array because um, it just is a text file. So we need to use another function to, to um, get the content but load the contents automatically into an array. It's going to make our life a lot easier if we use the file function. So the first parameter is what we're looking for. Now we're looking for the current IP inside of um, this IP.txt file. So we've defined IP up here, which I've then put into here. So we're looking for IP, which is the current user's IP, and we're looking for this inside IP.txt. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the file function to define this array. So you can define it elsewhere in your program, but I'm going to be using it in a single line. So we're going to say file, and then in brackets we need to specify two parameters. The first one is going to be the file name itself, which is IP underscore file name. We're looking for the IP inside IP file name, but we're checking if it is in the array loaded using this file function. We're then going to write a comma, and we're going to create um, um, uh, a condition almost saying if, uh, sorry, file ignore new lines. Now the reason I'm doing this is because when you do load it into an array, if you have um, say one nine or one two seven dot naught dot naught dot one and one nine two one six eight sorry not one there. Now what this will do is it will load this value and this value into an array. Uh, just to bear in mind that if you haven't looked at arrays, go back and check them because you'll need to know you know what an array does, what it is if you don't understand already. We're actually going to be including an additional line break which is going to be regarded as a space um, after each one. So in fact um, my user IP at the moment is 127.0.0.1 however it's going to be stored in the array as 127.0.0.1 with a space. So what we actually need to do is we need to use this file ignore new lines in order to load them in in tight values where the white space is trimmed on either side to ensure that we have this exact value and nothing else. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, you can read up about the file function uh, and this um, here uh, at the PHP documentation. So now that we've created this, that's going to only run this block of code if the file does not ex if the IP address does not exist inside this file. That's the essential working of this condition. Now if the if the IP address doesn't exist, that's fine, we can write the value. However, we need to store the user's IP address after it hasn't been found. So it hasn't been found, we're going to increment the value, then we're going to store the IP inside of the file so next time round the increment doesn't happen. And this condition of value is to false as opposed to true at the moment because there was nothing in there. So you'll see how it works when I run it. So I'm going to say file put content. I'm using exactly the same function as, I'm, as I've uh, used here. Uh, but this time what I'm doing is I'm inputting it into IP file name. So we're writing something to IP.txt because IP file name corresponds to this value here. Uh, what we're then inserting is the user's IP 
and then we're going to concatenate on with a full stop uh, backslash n which is a new line so after um, say five or six are written down there's going to be a new line after each one which is important um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to specify file append and the reason for this is because if we use file put content on its own as you saw with counter.txt it overwrites the existing value but with file append it will add to the file as opposed to rewrite over it so we're just ex we're just basically appending to this file a list of IPs of people that have visited whereas the uh, writing the counter.txt we're just overwriting it it's going to start off at 1 and then 2 then 3 then 4 However, in ip.txt, we're going to write an IP here, and then we're going to write an IP here, and so on. Otherwise, if you didn't specify file append, it would actually just overwrite, and you'd only ever have one IP address in there. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and actually test it out. So at the moment, my ip.txt file is blank, as is my counter.txt file. Um, I'm now going to come over to my browser, and I'm going to click refresh. Oh, okay. So we have a few errors here. Let's just pop back and look at the code. Okay, so I seem to have spelt ignore wrong. Uh, that's obviously generated all of these errors. Uh, you can see that our files have been updated. However, since I did gain the error, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to try this again. So let's refresh. No errors appeared. You can see how just because I spelt um, just because I spelt uh, ignore wrong we generated four errors on the page so now I'm getting uh, as I'm coming into my text editor uh, the ip.txt has been changed I'm going to reload that and as is the counter.txt so if we go over to view ip.txt you can see my IP address is now written in this file as well as counter.txt being incremented to one so what happens now if I reload the page again what's going to happen is it's going to search for the my IP inside of this file if my IP is found in this file we're not going to run any of this hence we're not going to update anything at all both of these text files will not be updated if another user with a different IP um, decides to visit the website that this code happens to be on their IP address might not be listed in so we will increment counter and we will add a new IP address to uh, ip.txt let's go back to our browser press refresh come back over to our text editor and you can see that nothing's been updated if we go to ip.txt we've got the same IP counter.txt we've still got this value of 1 so you can see that just through this simple check here and then adding in our IP address and appending it to our IP.txt file, we've actually created a unique visitor counter.